Hello, this is Hui. Welcome to watch my video C++ Programming on Linux. In previous video, we have introduced Crypto++ library, which it provides almost a similar functionality of OpenSSL. The code Crypto++ library is a modern C++ library as it is OOP object-oriented programming architecture which is compatible with C++11, C++14, and the C++17 compiler. Instead, OpenSSL library, mostly it is the classic C library. In previous OpenSSL video series, we made a video to demonstrate how to do message digest using OpenSSL. In this short video, it will discuss how to use Crypto++ library to perform message digest. Here on my Linux environment, we create two programs, md5digest.cpp sha256digest.cpp, which use md5 algorithm and sha256 algorithm to perform message digest. MD5 is a message digest algorithm created in 1992. In Crypto++ library, MD5 is no longer considered as secure, so MD5 is declared in the weak namespace. You must define crypto enable namespace weak before you include MD5 header files. Here on our example, md5digest.cpp, first we have to declare crypto pp enable namespace weak 1, and then we include a header file md5.h in order to use md5 algorithm. The usage of this example, we are getting message from command line as argument 1, we are using MD5 algorithm to digest the message and we print out both the original message and digested message. First of all, we have declared a couple of variables, a string variable we name digest and an integer we name message size. After validate command line syntax, we first calculate the message size. And then we instantialize an MD5 object. We name it hash. All Crypto++ hash derives from the hash transformation class. The base class provides a function like update, final, and verify. The hash transformation class is the interface for hash functions and the data processing. The update method will update hash with additional input. The final method computes the hash of current messages. So we have to update the message with input and we finalize using final method. First, we have to update. This update method, first parameter is the pointer of input message. And the second is the size. This method can be called many times. If we are getting messages from file, we can make a loop, read line by line, and update line by line. In this example, we only take one message from command line, so we do one time update, then we can finalize. This method takes one parameter, which is a digest pointer. Before we call the final, we have to resize string digest. The method is a harsh digest size. After that, we can just print out both the original message and the digest message.
first we print the original message and then we use the function to digest the message for md5 object other than message and the digest the message there are a few parameter and the date very useful and we just print them out first First is algorithm name. Second is a digest size. Second is a block size. And the next will be the tag size. Now we finish our example. We save this. We go to the next example. SHA256 digest.cpp. SHA256 algorithm is not considered as weak, so we can directly include this header file SHA.h. Similar as the preview example, this example take a message from the command line argument 1 using SHA256 algorithm to digest the message. We print out both original message and digest the message. So in order to save typing, we can copy line from previous example. So we back to the previous example. We copy 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14. This is 49. 14, why, why? So now we copy the 40 line and then we go to our next program. SHA256 digest.cpp. Then we go to here, paste here. change the algorithm to the SHA-256 because both SHA-256 and MD5 derived from same hash transformation class. So all this base class method and the variable exactly using as the same. So we don't need to change anything. So now we save our program. We compile our program. Now we got a compiled. Here is our executable. The usage will be the message. So this is the Hui test message for MD5 digest. So you can see our algorithm name is MD5 digest size 16 byte. Block size is 64 byte and the tag size is 16 byte. Here is our original message, which is 39 byte, and here is our digested message, which is 16 byte. For our SHA 256 digest, For our SHA 256 digest, algorithm name is SHA 256. Digest size is 32 byte, block size 64 byte, and the tag size is 32 byte. Here is our original message, which is 42 byte, and our digest message, which is 32 byte. Hello, this is Hui. Thanks to watch my video. Hopeful it is useful. It's going to be great to have your feedback.